Um, just to introduce myself, my name's Lydia. I've known Bree since we were in seventh grade. So since we had ponytails and wore our backpacks <laughs> and thought we were cute. Um, but to talk about Bree, Bree is truly one of a kind. She's the perfect mixture of beauty, brains, and has a heart that beats for God. Um, I've been blessed to have a friend that God's given me to kind of parallel parallel our journeys in life. You know, um, we went off to college at the same time, started our careers at the same time, and getting married around the same time. And it's just um, such a blessing to have someone who I can talk to through every stage of life, it seems like. And it's a blessing that God saw fit to put her in my life. Um, she and I are the picture of long distance friends. We've been having to live in different cities since 2012. I actually remember when I got back from college, I was super excited in 2015. I said, hey, Brie, I'm coming back home to Houston. And she says, oh, well, you know, me and Cam are moving to Denver. <laughs> and I remember my car calling her and I started crying because I'm like, dang, you know, I'm super excited. Um, but, you know, Brie, your love for others, the passion you have to continue the relationships with your friends and to be there for them, I know you're gonna make a great wife to Cam. And I'm super excited to see what you guys do. Cam, the love that you have for Brie is beautiful. I, I see the way she lights up when someone says her, your name. Um, earlier we were in the room and they said, Cam's here, and she goes, he is. <laughs> 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 and so, I mean, it's like the cutest thing ever. It's like a kid in a candy store every time your name is said, so just be careful with your arms when you sleep. She might bite you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, Kim, thank you so much for being there for Brie when she needed you. Like she said earlier, you know, you came in at a really important time in her life. Um, I feel like your relationship with her has really brought her closer to God. And I think that that's something that a lot of people forget in our generation. And I think it's so important that you two together continue to keep him first. Um, and so I pray that going forward, you guys continue to keep God first in the midst of all your trials, that every eye roll, every argument, every disagreement, you guys remember why you're getting married today. You remember that it's because you love each other and that's what brought you here. And I just wanna close with one thing. First Corinthians 16, 14 says, let all that you do be done in love. I hope that you guys remember that always. I love you too. <laughs> you have to just put it in the slider. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um. So I really don't want to follow up after that, but um, we'll, we'll try. Okay. So I met Brianna. Um, going to eleventh grade, we were in dual credit together. And we both went to Lone Star. And I remember the first time I seen her, I seen her on the bus. And I was like, oh, okay, she's pretty, but she looks stuck up. And I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> and then, like, one day, like, we just started talking on the bus because we had, like, you know, trials and tribulations in class and stuff. And then, like, I was like, okay, she's actually pretty nice. And then, I mean, one thing led to another. We started talking about, you know, girl problems, you know, you're going through puberty and everything. And, and, like, one day, we were at Lone Star, and I came to school looking a hot mess. And Brianna was like, come here, girl, let me fix up your hair, because I can't have you walking around like this. So she literally stuck my head underneath the sink at Lone Star and put conditioner and entangled my hair. And from then on, I was like, oh, you're going to be a great friend. <laughs> you're taking care of me. But um, then, like, we went to, uh, we graduated, we went to U of H together, and we had, you know, some trials and tribulations up there. I'm trying not to cry. But, like, we experienced a lot and everything, and um, the last two years, she ran into Cam, and she was telling me, she was like, you know, I really like him, like, he's awesome, but I don't think he's ready to be wife W. And I was like, girl, give him some time, give him some time, because you're awesome and everything. <laughs> And then um, we went to Slitterbond, and um, I met him, and I was like, oh, he is pretty cool, girl. He is pretty cool. You got to get him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, like, one thing led to another, and that's when Cam started to realize the type of woman Brianna is, you know, how loyal she is. Like, she's always there. Like, he was there for her 
and I just realized it was going to be like a great relationship and like I'm glad and grateful to have you as a friend and that I was blessed with this opportunity to be your maid of honor and I'm going to continue to pray for y'all like as y'all continue on this journey to become one and like because you're really like an inspiration for me and other millennial couples to just like keep God first and you know love each other unconditionally and stay loyal to one another and I just wanted to say thank you for setting that example for us and I hope God continues to bless you throughout your relationship and I love you <laughs> oh wait, wait I, have, I have my own oh you do okay. yeah I'm, I'm good so when um, Cam asked me to be his best man um, <laughs> Bree called me up the next day and she was like you have three rules can't cuss, no U of H wild stories, and don't drink too much. So <laughs> two out of three isn't too bad. <laughs> so when I first met Cam, it was at a U of H game. I don't know if he even heard his story, but I saw him, he had all red paint, head to toe, yelling at the U of H football game. The first thing I thought was like, man, this is a wild guy. <laughs> For those who don't know me, I'm Trey. I've been knowing um, Cam for about seven years now. I've been knowing him since his freshman year. And we've been doing a lot of stuff, you know. Um, when, I, when I left for the service, when I joined the Navy, I lost a lot of friends, you know, we lost touch, but Cam was always there for me. He always checked up on me, and that really um, made our relationship go in stronger. I see him more as a brother every day. A great poet once said, a great flame follows the spark. And when Cam and Bree met, that spark definitely happened. Um, when me and Cam's boys, we never talk about girls. We talk about 2K, sports, <laughs> current events, never talk about girls. So I know one time um, I came to U of H, you know, visited Cam. We just started RA at a Cougar Village. And um, you know, I'm walking to his room, I saw this light-skinned girl say hi to Cam. I didn't think nothing of it. You know, we started playing the game, he was like, man, man. Uh, and saw that girl say hey to me. I was like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking nothing of it. He was like, yeah, no, that's, that's Bree. No, that's, <laughs> that's me. And I was like, all right, that's cool. I mean, no, this is weird. You know, I'm trying to play the game, and I'm talking about Bree. And then, you know, as time gone by, the more I see Cam, I saw Bree. Even when we went to Panama, when I saw Cam, I saw Bree. You know, and that really shows that, you know, Cam, that's when I knew that this was going to be something special, you know. Something, it was something different, something that, it was a, Cam expressed a feeling that I'd never seen him express before, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. Bree, you look beautiful today. I consider Cam my brother, and you make him very happy. And I'm very happy for y'all. I watched him grow and mature to the man he is today, and I know he did that because of you. And <laughs> I know you made my brother so happy. Yeah. I'm just proud that y'all are together. I'm glad y'all find y'all find each other. I know y'all gonna do great things. <sighs> congratulations, both of you. Wish y'all a lifetime of love and happiness. And congratulations. I think it would be fair, you know, can't just have two friends. <laughs> So it's truly really funny. I first knew about Bree when Cam started getting that stupid look on his face. Uh, you know, when he sweats his eyes and throws his cheeks up real high. <laughs> we do it like this. I've never seen a friend of mine so happy at the prospect of falling in love with such a woman, so caring and protective, loving when necessary, and opening to others as she could be. My name is Tyler, if you don't know, and I first met Cam in Minneapolis. And a career in journalism, as both of us have, is sometimes hard to find folks 
who either don't want anything but your friendship or breathe the same fire as Philadelphia as you do. All right. Yer. <laughs> Every conversation we had about him in Denver was unmatched. His excitement about Nashville was unparalleled. And to think that Bree supported him through all of this to think that Reese supported him through all of this and accepted it with ease was amazing. It's hard to move, it's hard to support, and it's even tougher to love through all of this. I remember even during this process, Cam called me and cried because them Eagles won the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> them Eagles won the Super Bowl. Like <laughs> and then it was like, how much can I spend to get up to Philadelphia because you know I gotta make them wedding payments. <laughs> They've been in a lot of places as I've watched Cam's career grow. They've called me at, at hard times in my life when my career couldn't handle humanity's hardships. It's truly rare to find two people, in unison, souls combined, expressing the entirety of themselves, yet willing to give it up for others. This day is momentous for a reason, not only because Cam loves Bree and Bree loves Cam, but mostly because marriage is often a rare thing that can collect two truly perfect people for each other, willing to hold up and to care for them and, for the, and bring others in their wings. Along this way, there's gonna be a lot of arguments, a lot of resentment, but mostly and most importantly, a lot of love at the bedrock of all of that. That's the key, that we remember that love brought us here in the first place. So listen, here's the Cameron and Brianna, best friends, football enemies, you know, since previous were trash team. <clears throat> I'm sorry for y'all. <laughs> and importantly, the homies forever. I love my brother Cam, and I'm so very excited to have another member of the family to grow as we attack life's pitfalls, to drink in its glory, and to praise the moments in between. May God bless you with, etern with an eternal bounty, and may some more Philly seep into your soul. <laughs> Thank you.